places abandoned. Maybe uh, oh, twelve percent. Now we'll take the we'll take the dosh, but we'll leave the sword. Let's have a look at this house, hidden down the path. There was something very strange about the house. James couldn't, James couldn't put his finger on it, but the house had a dreamlike feel. Or was it a nightmare? He barely remembered knocking on the door, but he was sure no one had answered. Oh, well that's a bit mysterious. And uh, we'll just walk away and forget all about it now. It never happened, really. Is this a tavern? James pushed the door open. As he passed th through, he noted the lack of a door latch. A sign the inn was likely chartered by the local lord to ensure the safety of travellers. Hopefully it would also mean the inn's virtue that anything else would be suitable. The nameless hideaway. Bard! Let's bard, let's get some more money. So... Oh, that was going so good now that they were... Beautiful, beautiful. We got 42 sovereigns for it, yeah. Barmaid. It's him again. He's definitely following us. This is the blade. King Charles. He looks like King Charles. Uh, so, we barded. Barmaid, what have you got to offer? No, we've got enough rations. In. We could stay overnight. Three sovereigns for the night. It's a bargain. Right, Gareth yet again is squeezing into a bed occupied by three dishevelled looking men. Oh. One of your patrons last night uh, must have had some kind of sickness. I've been emptying my guts in your bedpans all morning. Uh, uh, let's have no. Uh, another t uh, Right. Are we sick then? Does that mean we're sick if someone's been chucking up their guts all night? The party's barding abilities increased. Of course I've got no nothing to heal anyone if we do get ill. No, we're all alright. For now. Uh where are we going? Are we going do we want to be going east? Well we can't go east. Uh where are we on the map? Mm. Well, Romney, Romney is actually southeast of us now, so well, we'll follow the map, follow the road, see where this takes us. To well, there's a bridge over there. Uh, Romney, right. The way ahead was blocked. From among the men who were guarding the bridge, a man stepped forward to confront them. Mitchell Waylander. The city of Romney is sealed at the moment to all but the citizens and those who are members of the Glazers Guild. Do you have one of our seals? Well, do you know what? We do actually. I think we've got about four. Yes, why is the Guild in charge of the city? The constabulary were all killed in the uprising by the River Pullers Guild, and no one else in any authority was left alive to administrate. When I was approached to take command, I decided that I would use my men in the Guild to help maintain order until such a time the Duke was able to arrive from his estates. Makes some sort of sense. Where can we find the King's men from Bastira? They'll be holding up in the Black Sheep Tavern for a celebration of some kind. I believe I heard one of them say they found something they were looking for. I'm not sure what it's all about. I think that may mean good news for us as well. Good night, Reeve. We're on into Romney. Well, what a good job we found those um, things. Shall we go into Romney? Yes, we're supposed to go there anyway. This is the, the whole point of what we're doing at the moment. Romney. Known as the City of Guilds, Romney's cobblestone streets were knotted, a labyrinth of closes and wines, often leading nowhere, into blind alleys populated by disreputable looking drinkers, drinking establishments. Only the dark main street called the Murky Mile seemed at all inviting to visitors to the strange town. The water was fresh. Oh, they're all fully refreshed. 
tavern. Shop. Shop. Right, okay, so... Mm, we can get rid of... What's this? Hmm. Oh, wait, yeah, you apply this to swords, we might as well do that. Just to use this up, really. So the next time we have combat... Done. Right, now, uh... No! Oh, how many... 25, 20... Are you gonna... Do you want to button? Uh, no, don't know. That'd be too useful. Strange music. Right. Two sovereigns for... What? I'm getting ripped off here. Could do with some more rations. Uh, what have you got? Have you got any rations? Well, no, obviously, right. <coughs> we'll get some at the tavern, I'm sure. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to exit, but while we're while we've exited, uh, sharpen your blade. You can't repair that any higher. Uh, okay, then we're sorted. I think. How would you repair crossbows? Yeah, not like that. That's for sure. Right, anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's go in again. Oh, no, it's south, isn't it? Or is it east? Let's go over the bridge. That's the way. Yeah. In fact, we need to go to the tavern. Definitely need to go to the tavern, because that's where we're supposed to take Gorath, I think. <sighs> Even as they threw the door open, James bit back the impulse to vomit. Kingdom soldiers lay scattered about the room, each lying in his own coagulating pool of blood. Nowhere did there appear to be anybody in touch by the murderous hands. Ooh. Chapter 3! The Spyglass and the Spider. <laughs> Do 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 The coppery smell of burning flesh filled the air. Embers left from the funeral pyre into the glowing dusk joined the uh, joined the winking points of lights that would later become a blaze of crystalline stars. Around the flames, villagers gathered in dark clots, their faces overwritten with blank, unreadable expressions. Like moths to a candle, they drifted near and mourned and thought and sniffed. They had come to watch the flames field feed. Goreth's fathomless green eyes... what? Nictitated? Is that even a word? Nictitate? Why can't they just say that they wept or something, if that's what it means? Oh dear. Anyway, whatever he's done, he, they, they've nictitated in the firelight. Whatever they've done, it sounds a bit bit sleazy to me, but there you go. As he turned and he gazed at Odin, who flinched uncomfortably at his side. There can be no one easier sleep than a warrior murdered in his cups, Gareth said, his voice only slightly louder than the spitting hiss of scorched bone. They nipped at the heels of the Nighthawks, be certain of that. So you think we're getting close, Owen asked. Gareth began to speak, but his words congealed in his lips as his eyes locked with the burning gaze of Senior James. Hello, James. Oh, look. Yeah, right, okay. Oh, they're all a bit downcast there, aren't they? I have had it with your mysterious half, answers Moradell. Now, for the sake of your continued good health, I want to hear some explanations fast why you were here in Romney a uh, six months before you made your appearance at the Ingledell Pass. That was a long sentence. Oh, oh, look, he means business. The only explanation, Seigneur, is that you are mistaken. I have never been south of the Incadel. Well, uh, James again now. While we carried the dead from the Black Sheep Tavern, a tavern boy informed me that a man answering to your description called on three unwholesomes dressed in black, all of whom bother wore the trademark silver rings of the Nighthawks. He heard them refer to the Moradell as Gorath. It seems that this Moradell had paid a sizable sum of money for the... Oh, I can't even read today. I'll start again. It seems that this Moradell paid a sizable sum of money to those Nighthawks before departing, enough perhaps to arrange the death of a company of the King's soldiers. 
He may well have paid a king's death, but I know nothing of it. I realise it may impress little upon you, but Gareth is a passing common name in the Northlands, and oft as not your kingdom fellow folk have mistaken me for an elf. The barkeep was likely deceived by enemies of mine. If I had caused to mislead you or your prince, I would have found a far less convoluted means of confusing the royal sanity. Look elsewhere for your enemies, James. While we may not be friends, I mean you no harm. I shall look where I wish, until you are no longer my responsibility. We may not be able to strike at the Night Nighthawk stronghold, but if we can locate it, we may still be able to get inside and find the information Prince Arutha needs. The Nighthawks will shun Romney for a time, however, however bold they may be in their murderous nights, they flee when the daylight breaks. No one walks without leaving footprints, and these men are no different. However skilled they may be at assassination, they have never been any good at covering their tracks. Let me see those things you found in the tavern. They are here. Under his hood, by the looks of it. Oh, not, not in his hand. Good, those are our footprints. Of all the items we found on the dead company, both these items seem conspicuously out of play, place and may be related in some way to our elusive murderers. We begin our hunt for the Nighthawks with a spider and a spyglass. Solve the mystery of the spyglass and the spider. Well, bit of drama there. Uh, well, I've been doing this for a while now. It must be nearly an hour. So we'll just come out now and save. And then we'll uh, end this uh, for the time being. And come back and carry on a bit later. I'll see you then.